Oh, hello. You know, there's like a mean that uh, fully build they can defeat them. So let's try it out. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I sh so hate these guys. I gonna. Hey, let's get it on. Very easy. Okay, I guess I could not defeat it. Uh, oh yeah, you cannot defeat it with the bus, but I tried. What happened? Where did he go? The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. Was it all an illusion? That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body it was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream <laughs> it was a wonder yes a divine wonder let's go traveler there is surely a reason for its disappearance and i do believe that someday in the future we shall see it again What is Z Zilla? Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Okay, this is my comment for this quest. Back and forth, back and forth. At least in the other quest, we're going to A, B, C, D. Maybe a little back to A, but. Kari Bear? Where has he gone? Oh no, he gone back to that, or he's gonna go into that cave. Oh no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No, no, it can't have been that. There's, there's no sign of a break-in and, and no sign of anyone having been here. This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or a, an adventurer in his current state? They... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Oh, no. Did he? The mirror, it's broken! Yep, this is saying the best. He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. Ah, if he'd just done as he was told, ah, we have to find him. It's his scarf. He dropped it. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. Curry Bear! Uh, Curry Bear! Where are you? Uh oh. Uh, 
curses. Forest rangers. Hey, who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. Have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... Forest Ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the Forest Rangers! Curse you all, Forest Rangers! Calm down, buddy. Uh... And that's a guy I think we're gonna talk on him soon. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, forest rangers. Did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not gonna let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, <clears throat> use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. Oh, yes, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Let's let's go. Uh, we have to find him. Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info. Goodbye. I think that is him. Can I read his mind? I don't want to talk. No, 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 Nahida. No, no, no. I don't better use Nahida. It's tempting, but I don't want to kill the game. Cory Bear! Cory Bear, stop! It's me! It, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was. It was all a trick! An illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Kari Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Kari Bear? How could this happen? He. Regained his mind. He he must be able to hear me. Surely. Come, Curry Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Papa... Bear. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much. Papa! <gasps> He's gonna... Did you... 
into one of those things. <laughs> I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> Did he... Wait, are we missing something? Did he just explode of energy? Huh? Wait, is this us now? And again, we see nothing under the mask. And Raiden is angry. Aha! Traveler! You're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together! Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. What do you mean, your true identity? Don't tell me he's gonna think of us like a dog or something. <laughs> I suspected it was you from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. Wait, don't we actually meet a Eden in the Cousin Quest? Maybe, if I remember right. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case... I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. Oh, uh, okay, so what's your real name? My real name is Clotar. Clotar? Why did that sound like a transfer much name? Clotar Alberic. Uh oh! Okay, so this is Kaya ancestor. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us Sinner. It was one and the same. <laughs> yeah, I am positive now. It's the power of the Abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last. I have seen it with my own eyes. Wait, isn't he like the founder of the Abyss Order? That is no business of yours. A sinner. Yes, salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Karabair did not deserve his fate, but now it's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. Uh, we... Oh, hey! I noticed that he has the scarf around his arm. Nice detail. The loom of fate. Okay, to be honest, I think Luma Face is gonna be like the what is called Project Sigma in Hong Kong Impact. Huh? Huh. Sinister. Dangerous. Oh, I never imagined that you of all people would deny the abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the Abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. Yeah, this is... We are in the place of the sibling, not... It's not us, it's, this is in the past, in the thing. And the one who controls the Abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Princess of Conria?
Why did he just call me? Is that desert? Well, this was a flat place that I kind of see that the moment Paimon wasn't around. You're awake! Oh, thank goodness you're awake! It was all a dream. What happened while you were unconscious? I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the Abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Wait, is it? No. Actually, Kaya's real name is... Albert, right? Not Kaber. Although how? Although I guess after he gone last, he just meet with another woman and, you know, continue the bloodline to say. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. I'm actually curious how, because if you actually, actually, no, I don't think we actually can justify that when we dream me. You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? Well, I have like maybe two, footy, two hours of footage to tell out, more or less. Hmm. So you saw her memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the Loom of Fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder... Was that the moment that she decided to go down this path? Why? This feel like some kind of weird. You just have one option, but you want to separate into. Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This... was where it all began. What is it? Okay, we're gonna discover some of the scenes under the ground, aren't we? The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? 
Wait, did did he actually bait people under the gun? A male and female skeleton buried together. Wait, a male and female? Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. Wait, is... Wait, he bait himself and his wife? But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? What? That's impossible. So he actually died? Unless... Clotar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Oh, that is a decoy and a fake skeleton he put there. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think. And to search my memories for some missing pieces. Uh, in this game, the Rachel, when when we get answer and more question, is like one and ten. We get one answer, but then ten others appear, and some of them they're gonna get answer way, way, way later. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. How is that possible? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. Who's he? What? Why? What is he? I see you now. All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. There goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, one more thing. I discovered who you are. I'm just kidding. Hmm? What is it? Huh? What was that? Wait, you over? What was that, Dane? Well, that'd be all for now, folks. I think it took me like one or two sessions to recall the chapter, so it's not gonna be too much to recall. But yeah, we have some answers, although Kaya involvement was none. He just appeared one day and just happened to meet with Densley. Actually, let me open his character. I should have him to French at 10 by now. Where is he? Oh, she actually say his name here, but this is more something, you know, for the Lord than, but in story, he never says, actually, no, what I said, because we discovered this just now, but I guess you can discover this way before. So yeah, Kaya has some kind of importance to the story, I guess. But now that we're done with the glue, the gloom and sad story. Now we can have her good times with Colleen, her visit to Monster. But I'm gonna do Oscar. <sighs> and you know what? I'm. It was worth it getting her. I mean, have you seen my luck in the last part? I get her C1. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, see you in the next episode when maybe we're gonna get ready for Fontaine. Or maybe a little... My people are used to the desert life.
But still, I hope that one day they'll be able to find an oasis of their own and leave the sandstorms behind for a better life. Yeah, what do you say they hear? I mean, you say a night when I try to do a Naruto and they start talking. But yeah, see you in the next episode, maybe when we try go for fun thing. Yeah, see you. Aloha.